now. It is the moment you have all been waiting for, bringing you the current trends and happenings from around the campus. With your hosts, Ryan, Are There Any More Donuts? and Tom, Tinder Left Swipe. We bring you Across St. Phil's. Hi, my name is Ryan, and this is my co-host, Tom, and welcome to Across, Across St. Phil's. It is finally October and the fall season. And you know what that means. Lots of Everything. Events. Pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. Ugh. Well, we have a lot to talk about yes, in yes. regards to our pumpkins. Yes, yes. the pumpkins arrived. October 1st. October 1st. And there were a lot of people there to help unload them off the truck. 1,900. 1,900 pumpkins. And more to come. That's right. We have another delivery coming because... Those pesky, pesky, pesky. Those squirrels. squirrels. And you know, the squirrels just seem to love, they love eating those pumpkins. <laughs> hey, hey, get out of there. Sorry. Get out of there. Oh, man. Okay. Those pumpkins. Yeah, no so, problem. We had about 1,900 pumpkins delivered with help from the members, youth, scouts, lacrosse, Westbury soccer. And we have more coming in. I would say that our pumpkin patch is on fire oh, this oh, year. Yeah, it is. Our <laughs> first week. Um, I, at one point, I think there were over like 50 people in the pumpkin patch on the Saturday. So. And one lady even mentioned, one that was shopping, she said she comes every year. And she said, if you search on pumpkin patches in Houston, this is one that comes up. That's right. Pumpkin patch was even mentioned in the Southwest News. Yes, front page news. So it's been getting a lot of traction. And people that do come, they appreciate the tradition coming they do. every year. They do. So the, the pumpkin patch is open to the public. It's open every single day. You're welcome to come and take pictures or purchase a pumpkin. We also have some special events in the patch. Um, our first one is coming up on the 22nd. Okay. We are going to have a movie in the pumpkin patch. And this year, we're going to watch Lightyear, which is the story of the Buzz Lightyear story. Yes. Um, we that's, got, at 630. that's at 630. That's at 630. The 22nd. Um, we'll have concessions and, uh, and other things for people to enjoy. And then our next pumpkin event is on the 29th. And it is pumpkin carving. Carving, that's right. And? Or decorating. Pumpkin chili. That's right. Uh, we will have the tools. We will have the glitter, the paint. Well, anything. you'll be there. That's why we have the glitter. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Anything you want to use on your pumpkins, we will have supplies for you to decorate your yeah. pumpkins. And it's also good to wait to the end of the month because if you carve them too early, the, they'll rot and they won't make it to Halloween. So I we picked that, that last weekend yes. to decorate. Yeah. And then, of course, pumpkin chili, which a lot of people are like, huh, pumpkin chili. But don't knock it until you try it. It's really, really good. Okay, I won't. And it will be traditional Texas chili with no beans, right? Really? Right? So we okay. got to keep it the Texas way. But it'll, it'll be a good family-friendly free event to yes. come and attend. Okay. And then two days later... Trunk or treat. Trunk or treat. Here in our, our church parking lot. Yeah. And people will come and uh, dress up, bring their cars, open the trunks, and their decorated car trunks filled mm -hmm. with candy or whatever. And we normally have hundreds of kids that come th from the neighborhood and yeah. walk around. And uh, it's a really fun, fun night. And everybody gets to... Put on their favorite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, put on their favorite costume. Screw that one. How about this uh, one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Astros. Yeah. So. Yeah. It'll be fun. Okay. So besides the pumpkin patch. Yeah, there are things going on as well. October twenty first is a senior citizen's trip, age fifty plus. Sorry, you can't go. Dang it. And um, <laughs> it's going. We're taking the bus from the parking lot at one thirty, and we're going to Galveston. There's a flyer here at the church. If you um, would like to. See it or online? It'll, it'll be on the website. Yeah, we'll put it in the and video. We're going to Galveston to the uh, Bryan Museum, which is a wonderful place filled with Texas memorabilia. And then we're going to go to the Oktoberfest at the Lutheran Church down there, and that's a big deal in Galveston. So that'll be fun. Leaving at 1.30, getting home about 9 o'clock. Yeah, this is a good day trip. Yes. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and y'all seem to have a, a good crowd every single time. We so normally do, yes. Go ahead and know. reserve your spots. Yeah, they're going fast. It's $15 for the bus trip and the uh, entrance to the museum yeah um so talking about some other events we can't fail to mention that this month um on october 30th is the church's birthday yes it's our 65th anniversary this year since 1957 i believe is the year I, think that's 59. Right. I can't remember <laughs> but well, i think that uh, the <laughs> building was built in 67 like this one yeah so yeah so and that seems right yeah okay so um 65 years of being here in the the myerland area um we've had several ministries several events so just looking back um at our history and all that the church has done in the community. Yeah. We look forward to the future and continuing on. And we thank all of our supporters. We had a special dinner on September 25th. That's right. Um, we called it our Oodles of Noodles dinner, um, just because there was a lot of pasta yeah. <laughs> involved. And, and, and a lot of elegance. Yes. There. Everything, gold, gold plates, gold silverware. And, just. and uh, we had um, three chefs in the kitchen, the youth, 
uh, were helping wait tables. We had a maitre d'. We had a maitre d. d. Um, oh. We had a jazz combo, the Mazzanotti trio. I wanted to say about the maitre d. A lot of people thought it was James Bond, actually. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, speech, <laughs> speechless. Okay. <laughs> so um, we had our Oodles and Noodles dinner, and the 30th is our 65th official birthday. Yes. So um, thank you to all of our members who helped out with that event. And, uh, you know, we're looking to continue serving. And then I think our last order of business is just um, November 6th. Um, we have our All Saints Sunday. All Saints Sunday. And that's where we re recognize um, the people who are no longer with us. From the who have passed over the past over the last year, right? Yes. So celebrating their lives yes. um, here at the church. So it's a very important Sunday, and um, we will be remembering them yes. at the service. So lots happening, and there's been a lot of volunteer opportunities. It's just a, that time of year. Yes. Um, we just had our garage sale on Saturday. That's right. And we had um, a lot of volunteers help with that as well. So different fundraisers that we do throughout the year. Um, it's just money that we again turn around and use to put back into the community. Yeah. Uh, for example, from the garage sale, the money we are using this year is to pay for, um, we're adopting some families from local elementary schools to buy them Thanksgiving oh, nice. uh, groceries. Very nice. So all of your investment, all of your time, it is much appreciated and it does go straight back into the community so we are excellent we are 100 percent um you know for houston for the myland area yeah. uh, st phillips is a great church to be a part of so okay we um yeah, I have back on. yeah we hope to see you soon at our pumpkin patch and upcoming events and then uh, we got more stuff coming up in november and december so without further ado we will end this podcast and i'm gonna go chase a squirrel <laughs> so my name is ryan and this is my co-host tom and you have been watching across, across st phil's see everyone soon